Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you start, uh, you uh, okay. Uh, so now we'll start. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, is it possible to record? Okay. Can you see my skin now? Yes, I can. Okay. So I already uh, developed this code for making the time series chart of NDVI from your accruing time period year of 1992 to 2012 okay so first of all uh, in here in this code i describe all of the line of the code so that you can easily understand so first of all you can see uh, which shape file you send me i just import the shape file in here okay so in this time you can see this is the uh, line in here i just import your shape file uh, which shape file you send me i just import the shape file okay so this is our shape file and in this shape file you can easily find out your attribute table here you can see this is the attribute table and in this column you can see district uh, under this column we can see all of the district name okay which district you want to need the ndvi time series chart okay so we can see all of the district name in here okay in this time in this time you can see I just write a variable ROI so it means that all of the district okay so all of the district it's uh, stored it in a variable this variable name is the ROI if you want to check how many district in your variable in this time I want to check it simply is so I simply use the print function and then I simply use you have the ROI then simply use the size function so now it showing me how many district will be available in your shape file okay so you can see we can six here the total 641 okay so total 641 district is available on your shape file okay in this time in this time i just need to filter suppose i need to the district by district or district wise end way time series chart okay in this time here you can see i simply add here a district suppose you can see in this time i take a variable okay so i simply take a variable district and in this variable i simply use at the roi so it means that you can see this roi this is the variable name you can see this is the variable name it's this variable is stored the total 641 district okay so i simply call the roi and then i simply use at the filter function okay so i simply use the filter function then how i can filter i want to filter it art engine filter eq it means that equal okay so in this time here i use the district equal diu so this is the another shape, uh, district name okay so in this time suppose i want to use at the north goa district so you can see you can simply go to your activity table this is your activity table and then simply go to the feature tab and here you can see all of the district i want to use here the suppose uh, not goa i simply copy the variable name uh district name just copy and paste in here instead of the diu i simply paste here okay and then i simply go to the run so now you can see this is the ndv time series chart of goa district not goa also you can see this is the tip images of the ndvi images so you can see in this time in this time i just filter from you can see this is the roi this roi is stored total 64 one district okay so i just simply filter it and then i filter it how i can filter i want to filter higher district name equal to north goa okay then i simply use at the map dot add layer function then i simply call the district i want to show the borderline you can see not i want to show the borderline is the red color so i simply use at the red red then i simply use at the uh, layer name you can see the layer name is the north goa okay so i simply use at the layer name is north goa and now you can see it display the shape file okay 
and in this time in that in this display i want to add here my ndvi images okay yeah. so for the ndvi you can see your start year and your in year start year and in year so i simply define here my start year you can see i need the data for the year of 1992 to 2012 so this is my in year i take a variable start year and another variable is the in year okay then i just put here my required my uh, time period i simply put here then i want to make a sequence or make the list all of the year okay so here you can say simply use here the take a variable years and then simply use here the e, e list sequence here i put here the start year and in year okay so this is start year you can see 1992 to 2012 so it means that it will be make a list all of the year suppose 1992 then 1993 1994 1995 and last 2012 okay in this time in this time here you can see uh in this time here i use the two Landsat 5 and Landsat 7 data set because because Landsat 5 is not only covered my whole time period Landsat 5 you can see Landsat uh, 5 image uh, all of the annual NDVI collection what's happened in this time you can see I simply open this data collection I simply open the data catalog So here you can see this is the data set for the land set 5 annual NDVI composite and you can see we can access the data between this time period okay uh, from uh, you can see it will be start from the 1984 1st January and in 2012 1st January so you can see this land set 5 is not covered the to whole year of 2012 okay it's covered only for the first uh, 12 1st January okay up to 1st January in year of 2012 but i need the data for the whole year of 2012 okay so that's why i also need to help the another data set this data set is the landsat 7 so here you can see what is the condition of the landsat 7 so landsat 7 you can see you can see this data set it's provided you can pro between the time period year of 1992 first january from 2017 first january so in the you can see in this time period 2012 is present in this time period 2012 year of 2012 is present so that's why i also use here the landsat 7 also so in this time here I use the two data set landsat 5 and landsat 7 okay and why i use the two data set i hope you can understand this my point okay if you have any question you can ask me anytime okay if you have any question no. about the data set landsat 5 uh, and 7 any question any question or any doubt so i cannot hear you properly your voice is very slow in this time. Hello? Yeah, yeah, now. Can you? Yeah, 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 now, now, now I hear you. Okay. Sorry, I cannot hear you properly. Oh, this point I can always join again. This point again. Am I on? Yeah, 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 but uh, it's the 
sometimes buffering and has some echo. Yeah, now I think it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, so now it's fine, yeah. Okay, so what I was saying that when you were showing about a district, North Goa. Yeah. Is it possible to include South Goa as well at the same time? So you want to combine the two shape file. Yes, about North Goa, North Goa and South Goa. Yeah. Yeah, it's also possible. Yeah, because, you know, at the one, at the one time I can do for entire state. Yeah. That will be great if okay. I can so do. So you can see here, I, I show you the procedure, how you can combine the shape file. In this time, here you can see, this is the only for the North Goa. Yeah, this is the North Goa shape file. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So right. you want to also join here the togetherly South Goa. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So it's also possible. So for this, you also need to take the suppose in this time, I simply put the variable name is that suppose this is the North Goa. So I simply put the variable mm -hmm. is the North Goa. You can use any variable name. And I also take the another things South Goa. Okay. So this is North Goa and South Goa. And I take the another variable. Suppose I want to also need the South Goa. So I simply use here the suppose South Goa. And I simply call my whole collection ROI because it is stored at the uh, total 641 district. I simply filter it. Then how I can filter? I want to filter art engine, filter, then equal. What's equal what? In this time, this is my column name is the district. District. And in this time, I also use here the uh, my South Goa. You can see, I simply go to this shape file. And then I just copy the very uh, 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 district name, South Goa from here. and simply paste here okay in this time you can see i also add the map in the south goa shape file in my map interactive view i simply use the map dot add layer and then i simply copy this south goa variable name and just paste here okay and i also want to show suppose i want to show the color is that suppose blue color i simply use that the color is the blue and i also put the layer name this is the south Okay, in this time, here you can see, if you want to add merge, uh, if you want to merge uh, the South Goa and North Goa, and then you created this map like this, or differentiate mm -hmm. two map, what do you need? Uh, see, when you do the NDVI, I can see your chart NDVI of North Goa. Yeah, so now you can see this, On the same is, yeah. Chart. this yeah. is the North Goa chart. Yeah. yeah. So on the same, can I get South Goa? uh trend also yeah you can also do this no problem so in this time i also show you this part so you can add okay. all of the but you need to the some writing about the all of the district then we can easily do it okay in this time suppose uh okay. in this time it will be showing only for the north goa uh and north goa time series chart in this time you also need to the add the another chart for the south goa okay and also need the south goa images so it's also possible so i simply you can see uh i use the same thing is that so for this, uh, so first of all, I simply copy the same code again. You can see I simply copy. I simply copy um, from here. Okay. Just so you know you, you are doing the whole exercise again, no? You explain me step by step first. Okay, so I will step by step explain. Mm -hmm. Then you can easily yeah, yeah. Then move to it. So you can yeah. see here, mm -hmm. in this time, I simply use here the Lancet 5 and Lancet 7. NDWI, uh, annual NDWI collection. And then we can see this Lancet 5 is not covered my required year. Okay, it is not covered my required uh, year 2012. Okay, so that's why I also need to help with the Lancet 7. Okay, so I also need the filter the Lancet 7 and then you can see the Lancet 5 and Lancet 7. I just merge. I just Lancet 7 merge with Lancet 5. Okay, so now you can see this data set will be merged. Okay, and then you can see I want to create it, the annual collection because I want to need the map for the annually. 
okay so for this i simply take a variable annual collection and then i simply use a function ee image collection from image so in this time here you can see uh, i simply call uh, put a variable the, uh, this is the years and this years i simply add here and you can see what is the years you can see this is the variable of which variable i used here when i make the list all of the year i simply call the years because you can see this years list Suppose 1992, then 1993, 1994. This list is stored in a variable years. Okay, so I simply call the years, and then I simply use a map function, and then I created my function. And in this time, here I, you can see I simply take a variable annual, and then I simply call my data set. What is the data set? You can see this data set which I merge Landsat 7 and Landsat 5. It will be stored in a variable data set. So I simply use here the data set then filter then i simply use here the calendar range function in this time i want to need the annually so i simply use here the y y this is my uh, element name year element name can be anything then my unit my unit is the year so i simply use here the year and then i want to need the ndvi value average or average and mean ndvi value for every year so that's why i simply use here the mean and i want to need this value for my district okay which shape file i use here you can see district uh, where is it so i use here the district then so i simply uh, change okay so now it's in this time where suddenly the electricity is gone so that's why it registered so in this time here you can see i created the annual collection so in this annual collection i want to create it you can see what i want to create i want to create it every you can see total 21 years image 21 years you can see first this is the image for the 1990 another image is that 993 and every image has a one band okay you can see this is the ndvi band okay every image we can get the total 21 years ndvi images every year mean ndvi value okay so uh, between the year of um, uh, 1992 to 2012 okay so we can do this so create the annual collection then you can see then i simply okay. call my data set you one thing at this moment yeah yeah you know uh, like i can see only north goa in dvi image though you are calculating you know calculation can